Comparing when you should build infrastructure or civilian factories is genuinely a hard question to answer, which I would like to give you a simple answer to, but instead I just created this little script that you can run and then you can calculate whatever scenario you have because it does depend on consumer goods, infrastructure level, your factories that you have, yeah, and how long you're gonna go for this. But I at least did calculate some of the more common scenarios just so you can have some guidelines when it might be worth it without running the script and trusting me that I'm not gonna mine Bitcoin on your computer with this. But as always, we'll go over this in a second. First off, uh, what that what infrastructure do? Infrastructure um, does increase your resources by 20% in the state uh, if you need resources. And there's some states that have a lot of resources. Simply build it. Congratulations. Every level of infrastructure also increases the supply in the state by 0.3, which is a very bad substitute for supply hubs, but I mean, you're not really building it mainly for the supply, so it's just a neat little bonus uh, if you need a little bit more supply throughput. Every level of infrastructure also increases the orc recovery by 10% per level, and apparently you can also decrease the chances of mud appearing by minus 80% if you build infrastructure. Yay. I'm not gonna go over the script itself. As always, there's an unlisted video in the doobly-doo. I will just give a quick rundown on how to use the script here. If you want to run the simulations yourself, you can modify all of these values, but we're interested in calculating whether it is worth it for some of your scenarios. So you would pick the economy lot that you have in the beginning. You would pick the construction modifiers that you do have in the beginning. You would pick the consumer goods, the max intra level that you're aiming for, your basic intra level, and then your total starting factories. For this one, I... Uh, I mean, you can just replace this with uh, whatever. What does Germany have? 40 factories? 63. Six, you can replace this with Germany's 63 factories in this case. The calculation that I did here was just, I want to have 10, like this is a small little function I have where I want 10 SIF factories and then I calculate how many factories we would have since, you know, consumer goods will also uh, dock factories that we have. Then our mill factories are uh, just useful for the consumer goods calculation. And then I have a switch after days and switch con after days. This one is not super required for what you have, uh, for what you might plan. These ones are just for this part of the script. Interesting. I want to also simulate, okay, after 200 days, we're gonna improve our construction a little bit. We're gonna get more construction speed. If you want, you can also just add another, uh, let's say after 300 days, and then you can just uh, copy this piece and then just be like, okay, after 300 days, construction modifiers, let's say they jump to 55%. Uh, this one is just for um, if you want to switch your economy law. If you do it, you would also have to use consumer goods calculation. Not super important. Most nations should start with partial mob or at least get it very early. It didn't make as much of a difference as I assumed because it is a 30% malice on building SIF factories. So I assumed it would have uh, made it a bigger difference but it doesn't actually make that much of a difference and that is pretty much it uh, you do have to get python um i'm not gonna show you how to get python and then you just run uh, your script with pi infra dot pi, which is this little file that you modified. And then it will tell you, okay, uh, you need to build for 461 days. And then the infra spammer will have more IC. There is one little caveat in the script. We are always building one factory. I'm not simulating, uh, you know, building slots. We do use a little calculation that makes sure that we only apply the current infra level to 15 factories. Right now we would still use 20 factories to build one SIF factory, which of course is not true. But also I don't think anybody cares enough for me to waste even more time than I've already done. I did run a bunch of simulations here, you know, uh, increasing infrastructure levels, high construction modifiers, having civilian economy, partial mobilization, switching midway through, having high consumer goods factories, which this one is only for China. Like I don't think anyone else really gets this number. And this is what it looks like after I plotted everything. We can see how long it took on the left. We can see how many factories we needed to build here in the lower level. And this one does not contain all the data because with one and five factories, it genuinely is not worth it. If you have to spend like three, five years to build only the factories, it's not gonna be worth it. So I just cut those out and you know, uh, if you are running 
less than 10 factories just don't even bother with infrastructure it, it's gonna be more efficient to build sieve factories instead and because we still have the 10 factories we do also have a lot of outliers here in the 800 range with some of these we have like 280 days where it already pays off because of this it's kind of hard to really give you a precise answer when it's worth it in general i will give you my findings now again for the specific instance you should just check it yourself if you have less than 10 factories it is genuinely not worth it you'd have to build sieve factories for years afterwards for it to pay off and by all means at that point you might as well play wiki free <laughs> in my first draft i had like 1.3 thousand different with the 10 factories ones these are all the ones that are in the higher echelons here if we remove the 10 SIF factories ones, we do get to a much nicer linear graph. Where, okay, like at this point, 570 days. That is still a lot of SIF greeting, but it is kind of in the realm of what you would go for in a normal game if you want to SIF greet a little bit. Like. And I mean, of course, if you already have high infrastructure states, you should just prioritize building in them. Like, especially with Germany, there is no reason for you to build any infrastructure whatsoever, considering you have the Geist Autobahn, the Geist Autobahn East, the Geist Autobahn South. But especially with the Soviet Union, where you have like three, four years of building up before you even click this button once, the infrastructure is. <laughs> if you are going for it, you should probably aim for like five, six factories just to be safe if you don't want to bother with the script at which point it will pay off. And of course, if you build more infrastructure, it will take you longer for it to pay off. If you have more construction modifiers, infrastructure just gets better and better. Economy law did not make as much of a difference as I assumed it would have. If we go for like the high average with the 10 factories one, we have like 450 days for it to pay off, which is relatively sif greedy. So um, I guess the next video is when should you stop building sieve factories and start building mill factories. I'm really looking forward to doing all of this crap again. And if you want to know which doctrine is the best one and why, you should check out this video.